think I found Margaret Leonard. Well, most of her. Oh, there's a flower for each month of the year. Looks like Margaret Leonard had a video journal. I'll need to find a memory stick to use on the vid player to watch them. It's a picture of someone named Mantis. It's a picture... Looks like Margaret Leonard had a video journal. I'll need to find a memory stick to use on the vi What's this? I wonder what Margaret kept... The dream that Charles and I shared has become a nightmare. I wanted to believe, so it was easy to deceive myself and to know that I have helped to bring it to pass is more than I can bear. I gave them everything, except for the key to it all. I must find the egg before they do. I have long suspected that Tex is a vital piece to the puzzle. His connection to Donnelly preceded the neural experiments. His coming to Chandler Avenue, a, a norm among mutants, to the Ritz, and even into Donnelly's same apartment. That was not coincidence. Was it fate, fate, or something else that drew Tex here? It was right here all the time. Under our noses, Tex has found the Tesla egg. Mason believes Tex is with us and will help us against the translator. But I have my suspicions. I think we need to get the egg away from from from. I wish I had the courage to destroy the egg. I just can't let go of hope. Poop, poop. With the egg gone, the threat would likely be eliminated, but so would the glorious future we envisioned. I want to try one more time, and until I know one way or the other, I'm entrusting the egg to the only person I know who would die to defend it. The one who prays. I was working with Margaret Leonard and Mason Bowers in neural experiments? What's my connection with J.T. Donnelly and the egg found in my wall? Why would she steal it from me and entrust it to someone else? The one who prays. Well, hello, boys. Mr. Murphy. You need to come with us if you want to live. Seriously? Just kidding. What was going on in there? <sighs> you know the drill. Why do so many people around you end up dead? Well, it's not because I kill them, if that's what you're implying. At least not usually. Did you kill Margaret Leonard? Come on, Danwich. If I killed her, what'd I do with her head? Eat it? But we keep walking in on you with all these dead bodies. You must be the unluckiest guy in the world. Yeah, I might be. But you gotta start looking for another suspect. I don't care why, I just wanna know who. Wait a second, how do we even know it's Margaret Leonard? I mean, maybe that's why they took the head. Yeah, that might have worked a hundred years ago, but now we've got apps for that. We've already got a positive ID. 
It's kind of fun, isn't it? I mean, kind of working together, uh, bouncing ideas, sharing information. I mean, what if I said I had some information that might help your investigation? I'd say you were withholding evidence. No, I said I might have something. No, you said you had something that might help. Yeah, oops. Look, Dan, which you seem like a stand-up guy, and I know you don't want any vigilantism, so I'll play it by the book. I think I have video that might have been shot by the guy who killed Margaret Leonard. I'm just gonna hand it to you and hope you'll cut me some slack. It's on your smart, Alex. Let's have it. The guy in the video is Mason Bowers. And this is the guy you think was abducted. The problem is there's no evidence of anyone being abducted, so I can't investigate. My hands are tied. Well, mine, as you see, are not. I may have seen this guy before on some kind of surveillance video. A surveillance video, you say? The video could have shown you in your apartment talking to an elderly lady. There may have been another man there as well, a mutant of some kind, who might have jumped you. The elderly lady, in theory, could have appeared to have injected you when you were restrained. In the ensuing struggle, you might have been knocked out on the fire escape. And when would Bowers have shown, hypothetically? Right after you were knocked out, tore through the apartment in pursuit of the old lady. So everything that I've told you matches up, and we're both looking for Mason Bowers. Are you familiar with a program called VCT, Vehicle Compliance Tracking? All cars come with sensors that report when one is out of compliance. For example, when you have your right front headlight shot out, if you could access the VCT database, which is illegal and highly inadvisable, you would find a list of all vehicles with the right front headlight shot out. If you could provide more information on the vehicle, you can access an ID and an address from the registration. Any chance this might have been the vehicle seen in the Maldonado surveillance video? You solve this Bowers-Leonard case for me. I might even see what I could do about getting that case file for you, the one from seven years ago. I know who Zach Williams is and who his associates are. I'd advise you to keep your distance. Hmm. Don't recognize the face. Sorry. That's Margaret Leonard? I'll have to take your word for it. A speeder with a broken headlight on the front passenger side? No idea what you're talking about. As soon as I got back from the new San Francisco Police Department, I had an urgent message from Rook. It seems Rook had a soft spot for Margaret and wanted to bring her some justice. He told me he had another interested party in the Tesla cash, a Count St. Germain, who was staying at the Golden Gate Hotel. Maybe he could divulge some answers. One hears a great deal about Tex Murphy on Chandler Avenue. To what do I owe this pleasure? Word is you're a big fan of Nikola Tesla, or at least his stuff. Yes. Your local pawn shop has a remarkably extensive offering of Tesla paraphernalia. Certainly the largest cash I've found this side of Belgrade. You mind if I ask what your interest is in Tesla? I gather you're at least somewhat familiar with the story of the Tesla cash? I believe some of the items Rook has were part of the Tesla cash, but he refuses to divulge how he obtained them. I presume from Margaret Leonard, or some third party who got them from her. 
Oh, shocking. Rook normally would cut off his right arm if he thought somebody would buy it. I've spent many years searching for something. My hope is to find a clue as to its whereabouts in Tesla's letters or journals. But the trail has led me here. Tell me, Mr. Murphy, do you know the name J.T. Donnelly? Yeah. I mean, I just heard about it, but he was a P.I. and he lived around here back in the 1940s. At the Ritz, in the very room in which you now live. An intriguing connection. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting and uh, maybe a little weird, but it's... it's not a connection. <laughs> but it's so much more than that. Back in Donnelly's time, there was a man known as the Sleeping Prophet, Edgar Casey. He made a compelling case for the belief that most of us have lived past lives. <laughs> You're losing me. Come now. You've said on more than one occasion that you felt as if you'd been born a century too late. A man out of time, as it were. Tell me, do you have disturbingly realistic, vivid dreams of another era? What? You know about my dreams? I must be getting incredibly broad-minded in my old age. So what are you saying? Ah, I was J.T. Donnelly in a former life. We could explore that possibility, but first, have eggs ever appeared in your dreams? Oh, I, I love eggs, of course. Uh, poached, uh, over easy, scrambled. I mean, they're certainly nature's wonder food. There are affordable accommodations in better parts of the city. Something could have been drawing you specifically to the Ritz. Don't you agree? Yeah, cheap rent. Could you maybe help me out with these memories? Uh... Help me interpret these dreams. If you could find this egg, or even put me on its trail again, I have certain techniques, such as regression and channeling, that could help you recall past events. And, I should add, the egg is worth a fortune. Which I would gladly pay. We talk for a few minutes longer, but I tell him I need to get back to the case. This is way beyond my comprehension. Mystical eggs, mind regression, past lives, it's boggling. Margaret spoke of an egg being held by a religious fanatic who prays. Was it the Tesla egg I found in the wall at the Ritz? If so, it would have been there for over a hundred years. Does it have some sort of channeling power from the person who possessed it? Well, Mason Bowers is still the key. I need data for the VCT so I can find out who kidnapped him. I better start asking around. Time for some good old-fashioned detective work. You should talk to potential witnesses and see if they know anything about the suspicious vehicle involved with the abduction. I think everybody's pretty happy that you're back to your old self. Except Rook. That ornery old cuss. No pleasing him, I guess. How are things going for you? A big guy? Uh, talks like he should be... On the radio. Yeah, he came in the other day. Didn't seem too impressed with my, uh, cuisine. So this is the speeder you think took off after those gunshots and the abduction the other day. I do remember seeing a vehicle. I didn't get the license plate or nothing. I just saw it was one of them nice Pandians. The Bi-Turbo XL model. More questions? Why you gotta keep coming back with more questions? I remember her. Sweet little old lady. Used to see her around the neighborhood years ago. Don't remember the last time I saw her. Yeah, there was a speeder that took off right after the gunshots. Saw it in my rearview mirror. I got a thing for high-end speeders. This was a 48 Pandian. Sweet bride. Hello, Murphy. Uh, how goes the investigation? Interesting fellow. He was particularly interested in anything to do with Nikola Tesla. He mentioned that he stayed at the Golden Gate Hotel. The, uh, a speeder that flew away after the gunshots I heard? I'm not sure what type it was, uh, but I did notice that the interior was very unusual. It was, uh, all white. 
I'm quite certain she was on the run from someone or something. I took care of her as much as she'd let me. I'm very sad she's gone. Yes, I'm sure that Margaret's items came from the Tesla cash, though the pieces she gave me to sell weren't nearly as valuable as rumors would have you believe. Wow, that is crazy what happened to Margaret Leonard. Is everything okay with you and the cops? Yeah, the cops would love to pin it on me, but I think it's all tied to a Mason Bowers who was abducted outside the Ritz a couple of nights ago. I'm just trying to find anybody who might have seen something. Oh, well then you probably need to talk to Sapphire. Sapphire? Sounds like some Greek oracle. Well, I don't know if she's Greek or not, but she's definitely exotic looking. And she's one of your fellow tenants. Her door's decorated like a French nightmare, but it suits her business. So, if you hear any noises you can't identify, you might want to come back later. Not a clue. It's a damn shame what happened to that little lady. And I'm not crazy about what it did to her apartment either. Sapphire, eh? That sounds like a fun new neighbor. Well, this is a nice surprise. Sapphire. What a beautiful, if somewhat misleading name. Thanks, Tex. You know just what to say to please a lady. Are you a gymnast? So, what brings New San Francisco's sexiest PI to my door? Business or pleasure? Let's start with business. How disappointing. Well, we could use that home gym in there to work off some stress. I'm sure you wouldn't mind a happy ending, if you know what I mean. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's all anybody wants, right? I mean, and they lived happily ever after, that kind of thing. <sighs> Fine. You don't want to scratch each other's backs. But what if I don't play ball? Can we still rough and tumble? Well, Sapphire, don't make me twist your arm. Oh. <laughs> you can't make me talk. <laughs> we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Excuse me? Are you threatening me? Because if you are, I'd love to see you try the hard way. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Tex. I got carried away. I didn't mean to hurt you. At least not like that. Do you forgive me? Yeah, sure. Could you answer a few questions? I'm all yours, Mr. Murphy. <clears throat> You're a tough guy who thinks he's above the law. What girl doesn't like to get a little turned on by that kind of man? First, I hear people running around up in your apartment. Then, this speeder lands outside. I hear some man yelling and screaming outside the Ritz. Then, he runs off with some other people chasing him. After a bit, he comes back, and I hear him outside my window. Sounds like he's talking to himself. Then, two other guys catch him, shove him into the speeder. Then I hear gunshots, and the speeder takes off. It's not the nicest place in town, but you can't beat the price. It's a live and let live kind of place. That's not my kind of store. What's she got that I don't? I can tell you one thing that I've got that she doesn't. Gets along with everybody. Makes great food. I only met you a couple years ago, so I don't know what you were like before, but I like what I see now. It ain't just your ass that's bad. So spunky, and I love spunk. That's the guy you think got abducted? I saw him around a few times coming to see you. I thought. That scumbag detective has been watching me for months. 
He's been videotaping the Ritz. Runs the electronic shop, though he's hardly ever there. Rook's one of my best customers. His tastes aren't as old fashioned as you might think. But that place will literally kill you. No idea who that is. After Clint took over ownership of the Ritz from Nilo, things got a lot better. He even removed all the bugs and hidden cameras. Now, what would I know about that? That sweet lady used to live here. It looked black or midnight blue at first, but when the light hit it just right, hmm, I could see that it was actually close to Sapphire, which of course I would remember. You know, Murph, I think we make a great team. What can I do for you? Uh, that's the most recent photo of Margaret Leonard I could find. Like I said, she's been out of circulation for a while. Uh, we were talking about some stuff. Uh, Tesla, Romanovs, Fabergé, that sort of thing. He sure seems to know a lot about everything. Uh, no. <laughs> He'd go on into these weird trances and talk about past life stuff. You know, pretty intriguing until you get to where he starts going on about Atlantis. She's dead? And she was living right here for years. How do you always find yourself right in the middle of everything? <laughs> you have a gift, my friend. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Due to my restrictive protocols, I can only confirm that Count St. Germain is currently a guest at our hotel. You're talking about the speeder I saw take off after the shooting? What I can tell you for certain is the last two digits on the license plate. They were the numbers six and three. Well, I finally gather enough data to identify the kidnap vehicle. It's registered to a company called Seisan, and the location appears on my map. I check out Seisan with Smart Alex and find out it's some sort of doomsday cult recruiting candidates for a brave new world, and they believe this world will arrive soon. These boys take their schoolwork seriously. some interesting symbols written on these pillars. some interesting symbols written on these pillars. <laughs> Unfortunately, I arrive at Seisan and set off every alarm possible. I'm missing a token that would grant me entry inside. I head back to my office to devise a new strategy when I find a fax waiting for me. Someone's been watching over my shoulder and it's not a comforting feeling. An anonymous informant wants to meet me at Coit Tower. Yep, this is a great idea. 
just waiting to meet some anonymous chap who still sends faxes. You know, he probably uses real bullets. I think you need to be a little more trusting of people. Tax, tax, I'm plugged into the internet. The internet, and you want me to trust people? <laughs> a good point. Hello, mate. Slade? How? What? <gasps> Weren't you in... <sighs> Locked up in San Quentin till 2260? No, not me. Good behavior. Behavior doesn't get that good. I bet you can't even remember how many people you've killed. Oh, I bet I can. Each one in perfect detail. Not like you. I understand your memory's not what it used to be. Yeah, well, we're all getting older. Some more than others, I see. So what don't you remember? Uh, just the last seven years. So you don't remember everything after you and Chelsea got nicked? Chelsea's brother? The Englishwoman, Juliet? Our little partnership? Our partnership? Look, I know we just made up, but I think I'd rather lick toilets with my tongue than work with you. Ah, but you did, Tex. I did? Which one? Work with me. And it paid a lot better than licking dunnies. How do you think you made all that money? These past few years have been, shall we say, mutually beneficial. But now it seems the same old Tex, the Boy Scout, is back. That's a problem. You want to know what's wrong with the Boy Scouts? Not a darn thing. So you've been helping us track down this precious little egg. First you say you got it, then you say Margaret Lennon stole it. Next thing I know, you turn up at Saison, tripping security alarms like some clueless amateur. Well, what the hell was that all about? For your information, I set those alarms off on purpose, and I don't have to tell you why. Always got to do everything the hard way, don't you, Tex? This will get you into Saison. Hope you know what you're doing. I'll give you 24 hours to find that egg. And then I'm gonna come looking for you. And you know I'll find you. You can be hung over from things other than alcohol. My meeting with Slade left me shivering like I had the DTs. This guy and I were partners over the last seven years. There's trouble in my soul and it's become as cold as ash. The further I see down the barrel, the more dangerous and diabolical my world becomes.